Too often, our law enforcement officers' heroic actions go unheard of and unseen by the public that they defend. These are their stories. Filmed live in front of a studio audience as they happen, these names have been changed to protect the guilty. All criminals are innocent until they're put into cuffs. See Ops. I've been on the force, working the beat here for about the last three years in the streets of Dildo Newfoundland. I've seen a lot of shit go down, but nothing like the shit my partner's been through here. We hear all the time, people assume we dildos are stuck up, but in the end, we hope you agree that we are a vibrant bunch. Dildo was a little prick on the map, but it's swollen into a throbbing hub of industry. I was born and raised in Dildo, and I'll die here. I guess you could say this town really has a way of getting inside you. My father was an officer of the law, his grandson before him. Only seemed natural I'd follow in my neighbor's footsteps. He was a cop, I joined the force in the 90s, and let me tell you, it was a different town then. It's amazing how fast a civilized society can decay in this world. Last year we had only 10 Mexicans. This year we have 12. And crime rate has already increased 40%. Now while it's true that these crimes are usually perpetrated by white people and blamed on Mexicans, if they didn't have the Mexicans to pin it on, these crimes would simply not be committed. Yeah, it's like- Attention all units, we have a reported 1018 at the corner of Johnson and Balls. Suspect is assumed to be of Mexican descent. Unit 1 responding, approximately 2 minutes away. 12 if we stop for donuts. A 1018 is pretty common. Basically, some Mexicans out prowling cars, probably drunk on tequila, ate the worm, basically treated this car like a piñata. Take a ride on Tain Street here. That'll save us 5 minutes. One thing I will say about the influx of Mexicans into Dildo, it's the taco times Mexi fries have never been crispier. And they leave nacho cheese fingerprints at the scene really helps out the guys in forensics. Okay, so we're on scene. Now this could get ugly. So we'll have you stay back while we check out the situation. You wouldn't believe how many times these things can escalate. Are you the gentleman that called about the 1018? I don't know what a 1018 is, but my truck was broken into. Just relax, nobody needs to get shot here. Keep your hands where we can see them. Looks clear to me. Looks clear to me too. So this is the vehicle over here? Let's take a walk. No, get over here on my right side. That's my good side. Okay, now we're framed up. Lighting, how's the lighting? Looks good, okay. Looks like a pretty typical 1018. Passenger window smashed, uh, I don't see any nacho cheese. Hmm, uh, driver's side rear door left open. Uh, yeah, the stereo deck is pulled out of the dash. Don't see any nacho cheese on the dash. Hmm, floor is covered with glass and change. And there's some cut wiring all over the back seat. Still no sign of nacho cheese. So it looks like the perp came in through the driver's side rear door, clearly left open by the alleged victim's negligence towards his own property. The perp would have combed through the vehicle, took as many belongings as he could carry, and exited the vehicle by smashing through the passenger's window and climbing out. Uh, I don't think that's hey, really... civilian, why don't you let us do the police work? Unless you've got a badge. Sarge here's a decorated officer and one hell of a cop. You don't need to worry your pretty little civilian head. Now after the car prowling, the perp would have headed in the direction of a taco time. Oh, that's right. We should probably check out the restaurant later, around lunchtime. Now can you tell us what items are missing from the vehicle? Well, the first thing I noticed when I came out was my window was smashed. Come and... on, hurry it up. We don't have all day. Okay, so my subwoofer was in the back. It's gone. They took my GPS, my wallet, my ID, and credit cards. All the change in the console is gone. I had a baby be gone in the trunk that I just bought my wife for Valentine's Day. Uh, they left the 6 by 9s but I noticed Okay, that... that's enough for now. Did you get a good look at the Mexican that did this? Or Mexicans. Good point. Listen, I never said it was a Mexican. I don't know where you got this information from. Okay, sir. Just relax. This will go a lot faster if you cooperate fully. Uh, I'm trying to, but you just keep interrupting me. He's eating every... for something. I'm just rubbing my eye. Just relax. I don't know why you care anyway. Your insurance will cover anything the perp took. That's what it's for. Well, I just had PLPD. I don't really believe insurance is the perfect way to prevent crime. 
No insurance? Man, you were stupid. Listen, I don't really appreciate No, you that. listen. You're lucky we even showed up to this. Usually I don't bother with car prowlings. We have a lot more serious crimes to deal with. That's another thing. Quit calling it a prowling. They clearly tried to steal my truck. How so? See the screwdriver in the ignition and the steering column's all smashed? Isn't there a detective I can talk to? Oh yeah, I'm sure he'd love to drop what he's doing and rush over here to solve the mystery of the cool little subwoofer caper. He's solving a real crime downtown with a legitimate business that actually pays for their insurance. So basically you're saying if I had insurance Yeah, well you able... don't, so let's just move on and try to get this all cleared up. Dispatch, this is Unit 1 reporting status on 1018. Situation is normal, no evidence to report. The victim's a little hostile, but I believe we have the situation under control. No evidence? You guys didn't even look. This is an attempted car theft. Shouldn't you get fingerprints or something? <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time dealing with the police, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, and I have to say, it's been underwhelming so far. So are you guys going to do anything? Basically what's going to happen is we're going to go down to the taco time, see if anyone there has seen anything. Seen anything? It's across town. Why would they have seen anything? Listen, Sonny, I don't think that tone is going to get your shit back. So just relax. I'm not going to tell you again. I just feel like you guys aren't listening. It seems like you're more worried about tacos than solving this crime. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, sir. Here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to go to taco time, and you just give us a call if any new evidence turns up. Although I will admit, these cases rarely crack. Gee, I wonder why. You guys have been so helpful so far. Well, maybe you'd like to take a swing at it, Angela Lansbury. Everyone thinks they're Matlock these days. Listen, I'm not trying to be Mike Hammer, Kojak. I don't think my name's Beretta. To be honest, if I was anyone, I'd be Magnum P.I. No, we already picked that one. Plus, you don't have a Higgins. Yeah, I'm Higgins. Okay, whatever. You guys have fun blowing each other now. Man, these guys have really taken boiling bagged meat to the next level. You can hardly taste the plastic anymore. Oh god, it's It's important for us officers of the law to make sure we get a full dose of high octane food when we're working on the beat. We need to be ready to pounce like tigers at the first sign of trouble. Can you pass the honey ranch? You want regular or client? Just pass it. So a lot of civilians out there give the force a hard time. But I just think if they could see what we go through on a daily basis, they would realize that our job isn't as easy as they think. We don't just sit around all day eating donuts and fighting Darth Vader. Police are the chosen people. We deserve the most respect. We're the shield between them and chaos. Okay, so it's been six hours since that guy called headquarters with some new evidence. We should probably call him back soon. Oh man, that last episode of The Shield made me cry so hard. That agent 99, I'd love to make her cry so hard. Uh, Sarge? Uh, Sarge? Uh, yes, uh, we should probably call that guy now, see what he wants. Bob Bobberson here. Yeah, it's Sergeant Pecker here. What have you got for us this time, Mahoney? What did you just call me? Jesus, Bobberson, read a book sometime. So, did you crack the case, Mulder? Yeah, hey, you remember when you guys told me to solve the case myself? Well, I did. I found an ad on Kijiji posted three hours after my car was broken into. It has all my stuff for sale, including a photo of my ID. The idiot even put up his address and phone number. Yeah, I'm just not hearing anything too solid here yet. Did you get him to confess his crime? No, but you don't understand. This is the guy. Like, it says on his profile that he's a painter. He has a free pass into people's homes, offering free estimates while he scopes over the place. He could be robbing someone else right now. Well, do you ever watch too much TV? Everything's got to be a federal case with you people. Okay, Grisham. Is that all the conclusive evidence you found? No, actually, his hobbies he listed included scoping out houses, breaking into houses, selling stolen property, smoking crack, and hip-hop cross-stitch. I really think this is the guy. So what should we do? Go talk to the guy? Probably a good place to start. Hey, Officer Riggs here thinks we should go talk to this guy. Who does he think he is? Colonel Potter? Regular old Columbo. Oh, a Frank Drebin. <laughs> okay, it's not funny anymore. I can't stand dealing with you two. Listen. 
Go fucking find this guy and do your fucking job, or I'll call your boss and find someone who will. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Ponch. Give us the information. We'll go check it out. Okay, the guy's name is Dick Sucker McPenis Fucker, and the Kijiji ad number is 8675309. Go get my shit back before I go find him myself. Oh, looks like we picked off Angela Lansbury. I already said that one. So we're on route now to the suspect's location. Basically, we call them and he thinks we're prospective buyers. Plan is to use our superior policing skills to coerce the suspect into admitting his guilt right there on the spot. If that doesn't happen, it really makes our job a lot harder. Cross your fingers. 33 Dillweed, here we are. Hey, are you guys looking for the subwoofers? Yeah, our cruiser could use an upgrade. The force is too cheap for car stereos these days. Yeah, I got the hookup if you got the skrill. Oh, we got the skrill for shrill. The fuck did you just call me? Cracker? You know what else our cruiser could use? A sweet new GPS. And I read on the internet that the best GPS are stolen. You got any of those anywhere? And I really need new ID. Something exotic. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Bob Bobberson, you know, something like that. Well, ain't you some psychic motherfuckers. I got everything you need. I even have some beautiful hip-hop cross-stitch. Hey, did you guys ever catch that Mexican car prowler? Hey, wait a minute. You guys aren't cops, are you? We're coming inside. Hey, guys. Angela Lansbury here. Angela? Sergeant Pecker. Please tell me you got my stuff and you didn't just fuck it up like you probably always do. <laughs> you are too funny. No, actually, we're looking at your stuff right now. Really? Oh my god, I take back everything I said about you assholes. So where can I come get it? Well, DJ McPeace says he'll be home until 5. Then he has two more houses to paint. But if you don't show up, he's going to have to sell it to the next guy. He's got kids to feed. Hold them? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you have my shit or not? Well, we don't have it, but it's here. Now, the problem is that you didn't provide any of the serial numbers, or this would have been a different case altogether. He says you can have it at cost, and he'll throw in some hip-hop cross-stitch to sweeten the deal. You have got to be kidding me. What's the problem, Officer Big Mac? Nice one, Sarge. Forgot about him. You want us to find your shit, and now that we have, you don't want to pay for it. We busted our ass for you today, and now you expect to get it back for free? What are we, socialists? Okay, obviously, I'm not going to get any help from you guys. I really need my stuff back, so okay, I'm willing to pay $700 for it. I'll be over there in an hour. Wait a minute. He says since you're desperate to buy, the price just went up to 1400 Tell him I'm going to come bash his fucking head in with what's left of my steering column. Wow. Did you hear that? I did. Let's roll. What the fuck do you guys want? I'm done with you two. You better have my shit or get the fuck off my property. Sir, you are under arrest for uttering threats. We'll give you a few minutes to Google your Miranda rights. Would you like to update your Facebook status before we take you into custody? Seriously? You sure? Don't you need photos of me uttering threats or a videotape of my intentions to cause harm? Yeah, if you have those, that would help us out a lot. No, I plum forgot to take them. Destroying evidence by not creating it, eh? That's not something I'd admit to, bud. Fuck em, Bobble. State your name for the record. My name is Bob Bobberson. This guy just doesn't know when to shut up. According to my ID, I'm Bob Bobberson. You, sir, just impersonated a police officer. That's a federal crime. You're going away for a long time. Another hard day, another disgusting criminal behind bars. It's just what we do. Sure, he might lawyer up and try to claim that he was mistreated, but luckily for us, the 12 Mexicans in Dildo are all lawyers. Yeah, it's unfortunate how quickly a victim becomes a criminal himself. The truth is, justice has been served here. These civilians think that just by having evidence and handcuffs, just stroll up to a guy, make an arrest. 
people just need to realize that there's a lot more involved in real police work. We can't just solve these crimes by themselves, or they'll just keep cutting our budgets. Nowadays, possession is nine-tenths of the law. And we're in possession of a kick-ass sound system. Hit it, Bobberson. You got it, Sarge. Uh, bank robbery in progress, downtown Dildo. Need officers to respond with strap-on dildos on their foreheads. Big and swollen dildos. Hopefully a bunch of pinwheels for their ass. If you would like to hear another load of hilarious comedy, click on the next skit. If you got your feelings hurt and don't want to listen to it anymore, don't listen to it. Choose your own adventure.